Our next speaker is Luke Stewart, and the title of his presentation is O Gluknak Asian Nation Dampens Hyper Excitability in Hippocampus During Acute Lepidiform Activity. <laughs> So my thesis work deals in the uh, study of neural communication, where I basically record the conversations that go on between neurons in the brain. So one of the things that becomes readily apparent is that neurons simply love to talk to one another. And the other thing is that they're extremely democratic in choosing um, whether to speak and what to say to other neurons. And so they compare their excitatory inputs, or their yes, you should speak inputs, to their inhibitory ones, and the majority wins. <coughs> And so during this neural conversation, it's usually extremely orderly and respectful between neurons. But at times, it can go awry, and it basically descends into a neural screaming match in the brain. So this is the hallmark of human epilepsy. And even to the untrained eye, it's not difficult to identify when this has occurred. So during these epileptiform episodes, um, normal neural conversations turn into high-frequency dysregulated screaming matches, and um, epileptic seizures ensue. So importantly, there is no cure for epilepsy, but we do have many treatments available. Most modern anti-epileptic drugs target specific classes of neurons, and they act to silence them in an effort to restore order to the overall neural conversation. But the major problem and drawback to these treatments is that they themselves are associated with diminished normal brain function. So most people on anti-epileptics report the so-called fog or haze of being under treatment, and most younger patients experience diminished performance at school. And so how can we treat epilepsy without compromising normal brain function? So a promising theory and the basis of my thesis work is not to silence any neurons, but simply convince them to quiet down. So I focus on a specific pathway in the body that uses sugar to alter protein and cellular function. Basically, it changes the way cells behave and communicate with one another. So we think that this pathway evolved to sense sort of low energy states in the body, and it acts to push the cells of the brain and body into this sort of low power energy conservative mode. So when this pathway becomes active in the brain, the first thing it does is quiet and dampen neurons, but importantly, it doesn't shut down their activity. So when we use drugs to artificially activate this pathway, we're fooling the brain into thinking it needs to quickly conserve energy. And the first thing it does is to take these high energy neural scraping matches and just shut them down. So we've um, seen very, very promising results in both tissue as well as live animal EEG. And the important thing to understand is there is no cure for epilepsy, but we think this is a novel approach and a better way to treat epilepsy and give these patients um, a better life. 